How's it going guys? Cracked Lips here, and today we're gonna be talking about something that, well, will prove that I'm not a very good person. In fact, you could say I'm damn right maniacal, because this is the story of how I made my friends watch the human centipede. <laughs> now, I'm a little bit of a seething asshole, and I've always been kind of a weirdo. Like, for example, I'm 19 now, but when I was 10 years old, you know, other kids were playing outside and getting love from their parents, and... Well, I was usually inside listening to Eminem or jerking off to porn. I mean, my friends would knock on the door to come and hang out, and I'd be like, mm, Sorry guys, I'm watching Debbie Does Dallas today. There is a moral to this story before we get into it, and it's that if you're a parent, you should not have Netflix, because the Human Centipede is on Netflix! Your kid could be watching the Human Centipede right now, and you wouldn't even know. So anyway, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Let's get into the story, shall we? So this story takes place when I was 10 years old, like I said. I was playing my Nintendo DS Lite, because, uh, that was the thing. And I was outside my house because my parents were abusing me. Just kidding, no they weren't. But anyway, I lived in a duplex when I was 10, so I was outside playing my Nintendo DS, and I had these fucking ghetto as shit neighbors. I mean, every day, they're just fucking, like, most of the day. Like, every single time me and my mom would bring in groceries to the house, we'd hear, uh, uh, almost like clockwork, okay? Well, one day, I was outside playing my DS, like I said, and my ghetto fuckhead neighbors were like, Oh, bro, you should have seen this movie I saw last night, it was so gross. The other bro's like, what movie was it? He's like, oh, it was called, like, uh, The Human Caterpillar or something. It, uh, it was about, like, this guy getting, like, his mouth attached to someone else's butthole. Now, you better believe 10-year-old me was listening. I thought Poop was hilarious. I thought this was gonna be the best movie ever, okay? I was picturing, like, an animated cartoon. Uh, for some reason, I pictured, like, Spongebob getting, like, surgically attached to, like, Avatar from Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't know, I was 10. So I was really excited. So I went into Google, I typed in the human caterpillar. It was actually called the human centipede. And then I watched a trailer of it, which shocked the fuck out of 10-year-old me. So anyway, once I found out what this film was actually about, I was gonna make my friends watch it. You know, the last remaining few friends I had? I was gonna make them watch a snuff film. But how was I gonna watch it? Oh, it's on Netflix. Thanks, Netflix. So anyway, I invite them all over one day under the guise that we're gonna watch a movie together, a fun movie, and play pool, because I had a pool table downstairs. So they're all like, yeah, that sounds cool. So they come over, uh, there's four people there, not including me. They're all about 8 to 10 years old. I mean, most of them just stopped breastfeeding a few years ago. And, uh, yeah, I was like, alright, you guys ready for the movie? <laughs> and they thought it was gonna be something funny. They've probably never seen a horror movie in their life at this point. And I start the movie, and they're expecting something funny to happen, but it's actually the opening sequence of The Human Centipede, where, like, it shows the doctor's car in the field. <laughs> and uh, little by little as this movie goes on, they realize that there's nothing funny about this. So, uh, the funniest part about this was, uh, <laughs> you know that scene in The Human Centipede where the doctor's like, I'm going to attach your asshole to your mouth? That was exactly the moment when my friends realized this wasn't like a funny comedy setup with a punchline that was gonna happen, this was just a horror movie. And they were really grossed out and like, dude, what is this? Ah! Oh! I was like, no, guys, it's gonna get funnier, just watch the whole thing. And we did. So anyway, eventually, there came a point when all of my friends were crying because they were 10 and watching The Human Centipede, and I was laughing, I thought it was funny. However, after my friends left, uh, by the way, I never saw them again, <laughs> I realized this movie actually had more of an effect on me than I previously thought. See, I thought I had balls of steel for a 10-year-old, alright? But I didn't. I started having this really bad reoccurring dream, where I was running through a hotel hallway, running away from some deranged killer lunatic, until all of the sudden, a metal pole bar comes out of the wall of this hallway as the hallway shrinks in. I'm trapped. I turn around. Another pole comes out of the wall. I'm completely trapped in this little area. And then out comes the motherfucker himself, the human centipede doctor. And he looks me square in the eyes and he says, I'm going to rape you. 
Now this made me shit my pants and scream like a small child. Well, I was a small child, that's why you don't watch the human centipede. But then I thought about the logistics of the human centipede for a second. Why would anyone waste time putting that together? Because in reality, if you did this, sewed someone's mouth to their butthole, if you could even get them to do that, I don't know how you would, the first time the person in front farted in the middle person's mouth, they'd be like, Ugh! and then they'd start vomiting into the butthole. And that would cause the guy behind the middle guy to start vomiting, because that's disgusting. And then it would just be a, like, a, a train of vomiting into people's buttholes. It'd be like a reverse centipede. It'd be like vomit going through the butthole out the mouth. And yeah, I stopped being scared, and, uh, my friends never talked to me again. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, yeah, peace out. Ah, fresh air.